On this video, I'm going to show you how the Underwood 357 SIG 125 grain bonded jacket at Hall Point, go, go dot is what it is, performed out of my Glock 23 with a long wolf barrel change from about six yards through two ribs and some water jugs in the middle through heavy dental. My first rifle was a 243. Papa gave daddy and daddy gave to me And they taught me how to shoot with a steady hand I guess that's something you don't understand Now I grew up on a prison farm All right, ladies and gents. The other day I shot this round here which is the Underwood Loading 357 SIG 125 grain go dot. I shot it through four layers of old work pants, not necessarily FBI standard heavy denim, but it's pretty heavy denim. Through that, a set of deer ribs, two water jugs, then a set of deer ribs, and I had two more containers of water behind it. Unfortunately, I cannot see where I was actually shooting because it was covered with denim. And I shot high into the right. I did not capture the bullet. And seeing how it was freezing cold, I did not attempt a second shot. But what you can tell is the bullet performed just as advertised. It looked nice. The expansion was great. Previously, right before I shot this round, I shot a 40 caliber double tap, which if you would like to check that out, you can. This expanded more because the 40 caliber double tap 200 grain clawed with dental. This did not. This performed great. Uh, velocity on this is listed as 1475, but as you can go see, several people have shot this round, and it's more or less getting in anywhere between 1500 there and a little bit more, maybe 1510. You watch 10 in Outdoors 9. He's done a couple tests with this load. It's very nice. Sorry I didn't recover a bullet here, but after you see the video, you'll understand it works just fine. Underwood, 125 grain, 357C, through four layers of dental, two sets of ribs, and about six yards of Alrighty, walking up. This is the same set of ribs I just shot the double tap with. So that was a double tap. And here's the entrance. And a great big exit from the 357C. And it did break the bones. First jug. Uh, Doesn't look like any jacket in there. Same thing on the second jug. The exit out the set of ribs. Third jug. Looks like it went through and out. No jacket in it. And it appears we didn't catch the bullet. But just by looking at the hole, that was the double tap 200 grain. And that was the 357, so that hole's bigger than that. So I'm assuming the SIG opened up through the four layers and the double tap didn't. That's just my assumption. 